I'm gonna show you how to take a great LinkedIn profile photo completely for free. All you need is a smartphone, a nice outfit, and a friend to snap the pic. Now having a great LinkedIn profile photo is absolutely critical to making a strong first impression with a hiring manager and this can have a ripple effect on how your entire interview process goes and eventually end up affecting your entire career. So a strong LinkedIn profile photo is absolutely essential. Before anyone goes off and books a $1,200 photo shoot, sit tight, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to create this great, amazing, and professional LinkedIn profile photo, absolutely free at home, and it's only gonna take you a couple of minutes. You can do it right after this video. In this video, I'm gonna walk through where to take the ideal LinkedIn profile photo, how to get the right lighting without any equipment, what to wear in your LinkedIn profile photo, what smartphone settings to use on your phone, how to frame the shot, what to do with your face in the perfect photo, and how to edit the photo nicely and professionally in your phone. Also, stick around to the end of the video because I am going to be sharing some major no-nos and mistakes that I see in a lot of LinkedIn profile photos, and you wanna make sure you're aware of those so you're not making any of these common mistakes. I'm Greg Langstaff, I'm a certified resume strategist, and I am on an absolute mission to get as many people into jobs they love as possible, Thank you for watching this video and helping me do that. Let's get this started. And before we dive in, just take a moment to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you wanna enter for a chance to win a free resume review from me. So first, let's talk about where to take the photo and also how to get some great natural lighting for our picture as well. Now the first thing to consider here is what is the background behind us in the photo. The main rule is that anything is gonna be fine so long it's not as it's not distracting from your face. We wanna avoid things like people in the background, cars, or just a lot of color. So a great background might be a neutral wall, some nice greenery, or perhaps a professional setting like an office. In terms of lighting, we really don't have to think too hard about this, and we definitely don't need any fancy equipment. We are gonna use our good friend, indirect sunlight. So the idea here is we would stand kind of near a window or outdoors in a shaded area. Ideally, we'd be standing at least three to five feet away from the wall behind us so that we're not making any awkward shadows. And then just make sure that the light is not overemphasizing one side of your face versus the other. A little bit of shadow and balance is totally fine and normal, but we wanna make sure that we are not looking like Two-Face where half of our face is completely in the light and the other half is completely in the dark. I wouldn't stress too much about the lighting, it's hard to get this part wrong. Next, let's talk about the camera setting that you wanna use in your phone. Now, most new phones have a camera setting called portrait mode, which does this very cool thing where it will bring you into focus and slightly blur the background, which actually gives a nice professional type photo shoot vibe. This is a great feature. If you don't have it on your phone, ask around, probably someone in your family or in your close friends does have this feature because it's very common now. If you can't get a hold of a camera phone that has this feature, the simple photo mode is also totally fine. We just want to make sure our background isn't too distracting. Now, what we wear in the photo really matters. If we underdress, it's gonna be very hard for someone looking at our LinkedIn profile to take us seriously. If we overdress, frankly, it's, it's gonna be hard to overdress. You probably can't overdress for a LinkedIn profile photo, but here's my guidance. What you wanna wear is something you would wear to an important day at work. We want the person looking at this photo who's thinking of hiring us to be able to picture us alongside them in this job during a very big important day. For a lot of people, that might be a suit and tie, a blazer and a nice blouse, or at least something with a collar like this. Now, if you've heard all my criteria and you're still thinking, well, technically a t-shirt would be fine, I implore you to at least take it up one level from there to maybe a nice polo. Ideally, something professional looking is perfect. Now, you are dressed, you've picked your location, we have some great lighting, let's talk about taking the actual photo. So first, don't take a selfie, please. Ask a friend, a family member, for five minutes of their time to take a nice picture of you from a good distance away. We don't want that awkward arm shoulder up in the picture and we also don't want it super close like it would be if we were taking a selfie. Now, with that in mind, when they are setting up to take the picture, 
Remember, you're gonna be a few feet away from the nearest wall, but we also want them pretty close to our face. We're talking anywhere from 18 inches to maybe two and a half feet. I will say that what we want is sort of a shot framed from the shoulders up, but we also want some space around our head because this is gonna be in a circle and we kinda of want our face to be in the middle of the circle. Ideally, we've got enough of our face in the shot so they have a great idea of what we look like, but they can still see we're also wearing a nice professional outfit. That is sort of how I suggest you frame this shot. Now, let's talk about your face. So ideally what we want to do when it's time to take the picture, we want to be looking straight into the camera. This will sort of give the illusion of eye contact, which is a nice psychological trick that helps us build trust with the person who's looking at our photo. We also want a nice soft smile, teeth showing, ideally smiling in our eyes as well as our mouth because a mouth only smile usually looks fake and kind of creepy. And the best advice I have for you to get that nice natural but genuine looking smile is to just have the person take 20 to 30 to 50 photos of you within that five minute span. Ideally, if you're moving through various phases of fake and real smiles, you're gonna find one shot that looks like a nice genuine smile among that group of photos. And if you can't really decide, you know, narrow it down to your top few and ask someone else to pick which one that they feel is the most natural, genuine smile. Now, once you have your favorite photo picked out, you can do just a little bit of simple editing in your phone just to make sure the photo is the exact kind of look and feel that you want. You can just play around with things like our brightness, our exposure, the color tones a little bit. Ideally, we don't wanna mess with this stuff too much because we do want the photo to come across looking nice and natural. We also don't wanna use a black and white filter, which I have seen some folks do on LinkedIn. That is not what we're going for here. We want a nice, natural look in our picture. Now, don't stress over the editing too much, however. This is really a simple, simple process, and if you followed the instructions so far, you shouldn't need much editing on your photo at all. Lastly, I want to leave you with some major mistakes people make with their LinkedIn profile photos so you don't make these same mistakes. And before I get into those, take a second to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to be entered to win a free resume review from me, leave a comment down below. And if you're not sure what to say, compliment my hair. Now, the mistakes, the top mistakes I see in LinkedIn profile photos. One, do not crop yourself out of a group picture from a wedding or some other formal event or really any event. It just looks awkward and we can tell you didn't put in the effort to take a nice photo for LinkedIn. So just follow these instructions and take a picture specifically for LinkedIn that's only you in the picture. Number two, you might have a great suit on, a great outfit of some sort, but we do not wanna see a full body photo in your LinkedIn profile picture. The idea here is to just give them a good idea of what your face looks like. And all too often I see people zooming out, trying to get their whole outfit in the shot. That is not necessary here. Three, this is sort of an overarching piece of advice. We do not need to look cool in our LinkedIn profile picture. What we want to look like is nice, competent, and confident. But if we are trying to look cool with something like a black and white filter or we're looking away from the camera or we have like a fun shadow on our face or a weird hat, um, don't do that. That is not going to come across the way we want to. We just want them to get a sense of what it's like to look at us when we're working together. Simple as that. Now, once you have your LinkedIn profile photo done, the next most important piece of your LinkedIn profile which people will be seeing immediately after your profile picture is your banner image. So head on over to this video I made to learn how to create an amazing LinkedIn banner in only one minute. I'll see you over there.